we'll see. Wow. It's not the time like they right. wanted me then to like reschedule and all of that. So it's just been like kind of a lot um, But yeah, I'm just Arrive at this point trying to get here I'm trying to figure out how to park um, Of course, we're in like a What do you call it? Uh, um, this is 20 minute parking a parking garage I'm gonna just pull in right here. I will see y'all once my hair is done. <laughs> hey y'all, so I know I opened the vlog with a little bit, my energy was a little stank because I was running late to my hair appointment, but my hair is done. Uh, I truly enjoyed my experience at the salon. The stylist is everything, yeah. I think I finally found my Atlanta hairstylist, y'all. So I'm definitely gonna be going back to her. Um, we had like a mini consultation about some stuff I want done like later this year before the holidays. So yeah, y'all. Um, I'll put her information in the description box. Her name is Kalia. She's at Slayology Studio. So dope. If you can, why well, was I about to say subscribe to her? If you can book her, definitely book her. Um, if you're in the Atlanta area or if you're willing to travel, because I know people travel to get their hair done. Um, but yeah, she also offers like micro lace tape ins. I think she does sew ins as well. But her cut and color services are like top tier. Y'all know that's what I'm like all about right now. So, um, and I think she's pretty affordable. Definitely worth the price. Like the salon is beautiful. It is like a full blown experience. And she's really, really nice. Like she's really nice. Like she'll educate you, answer your questions, all of that. So yeah, um, it's like ten fifty. I have a lash appointment at 12, so I'm gonna get some food and go home for a little while before I head to London. Um, lash and brow, actually. So yeah, y'all, birthday maintenance is going well so far. Um, tomorrow is my birthday. Today is the eve of it all. Um, tomorrow I actually have my nail appointment. I was supposed to have it yesterday, but I rescheduled it because something came up with work that I really had to take care of. Y'all know how Tuesdays are for me, so. Um, my goodness, the sun. Why did I leave my sunglasses at home today? Mm -hmm. But yeah, I really, really like my hair. We actually softened up the layers a lot because you know, I was telling y'all that one side of my hair was longer than the other one. I was not incorrect. This side was actually like significantly shorter than this side. And it was like really, really choppy. So she softened it up for me, helped me out there, which I really appreciate because I was going to be out here looking crazy. <laughs> but um yeah i am now what i said going home yeah i'm finna go home y'all i will see y'all at my lash appointment because i know i'm talking i'm talking out of hunger because i am making no sense right now no sense whatsoever however um i have a vlog going up later this afternoon and in that vlog, I was talking about not knowing what to do for the giveaway. And it's crazy because um, one of my newer subscribers, I think her name is Stephanie. Let me double check while I'm at this red light, but I think her name is Stephanie. I think her name is Stephanie because she, well, I don't know, she goes by Stephizy, so hey girl. But she was like, oh my goodness, I'm so excited that you're doing the Fenty Beauty mirrors. And I was like, 
I felt so bad because that's exactly what I planned to do, but they're no longer being sold. So now I gotta go on the hunt if I can to find them. But they are, I don't think they're on the Fenty Beauty website anymore. Like I've checked several times because I know that's what we agreed on as the 1K giveaway, but it's looking like we're gonna have to do something else. So my bad girl, I feel so bad. Um, my first mind was to buy the mirrors when I, when I said back in June that that was what the giveaway was gonna be. But I didn't, I don't know, I felt like I had I had time. I didn't, you know, I didn't think about the fact that they're just like no longer. I guess they were maybe like a limited edition or something like that, or maybe they'll come back in stock at some point. But if I can, I'll find them. If not, I'll look for like another super cute mirror or something like that to give away soon. But it was just so crazy because she just commented saying that like, she was happy I was doing the mirrors. And I'm like, oh my gosh, girl, in a video later today, I'm gonna have to announce that I actually cannot do the mirrors. Oh my goodness, like, mm. So yeah, there's that. I'm rambling, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. <laughs> okay, y'all, so I literally went home and grabbed my sunglasses because the sun is just like crazy, crazy out today. But I have a little bit of time before my lash appointment. So I'm gonna go up to the seamstress real quick to see if my stuff is done. It was supposed to be done by today. Um, she just told me to come before close and they closed at like seven. So I'm just gonna run in here real quick and check to see if it's ready yet. Yeah. Y'all, this lady has not even started on my stuff yet. She was like, come back at six. So I actually had her take like two of the things off because I know I told y'all I was going to that like Caribbean party. Thing. I don't think I'm going anymore. Um, it's actually tonight, but I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm going anymore. So there's that. And if I do end up going, I'll just wear something else. Like it's fine because I don't want her to be like rushing. You know, I want my stuff to be done properly. And you know, I dropped it off last week. She told me that this was a good turnaround, and I don't want to put more pressure on her. So I just was like do what's necessary which was the dress and the skirt and girl don't worry about nothing else also what i'm about to do up here is run into sally beauty to see if they have that design essential stick for my flyaways um it's in the same plaza so at least i'm able to do that luckily she's not too far away from me like y'all literally she's less than like five minutes away from me so um it's okay i can just thank you i can just come back up here later on it's all good but yeah let me go into sally beauty let's see if they got what i need <laughs> told me that they don't carry it and they never have um so there's that i'm almost thinking it's something that i may have to order online i'm gonna look on amazon before i do that i'm gonna go to another hair store after my lash appointment um i was looking on ulta's website to see if they had it but they don't have it either there's another one by um i think care care has one too so i'll just go to the hair store after my lash appointment and then, um, yeah, we'll see. Wow. A show you what I picked up from Urban Outfitters. I went in there for a bralette. I left with more than a bralette, but that's okay. <laughs> that's just how things go. 
So I picked up this one. This is the one I ended up going with. Looks like this. And I just want to wear this under my, um, that two piece linen set. So I can wear like my regular bra under it, but it kind of shows a little bit. And it has like that big, like savage X charm that hangs off. And I just, I don't want to see that in my clothes. Not, not, not for that look. I don't remember what I did for my um, best friend's baby shower because remember I was telling you guys I already wore that outfit. I don't remember how I managed to hide it, but uh, yeah, that's what this is for this time. So I'm gonna try that on together to make sure it looks right. And then I picked up this bodysuit, which I was like completely obsessed with. I love the like, I guess these are like exposed seams or whatever. There's a dress that I want by this brand. Oh my goodness, what is it called? I can't even think of what it's called right now. But the dress is like, it's like this all over with like an asymmetric bottom. But it's it's like $310 and I just can't manage to justify it. I almost bought it as a birthday dress, but it's, it's, it's not enough to be a birthday dress, but it's definitely something I want in my wardrobe. So I'm gonna have to think really hard, really hard, y'all. I'll put a picture of it right here. I don't know why I can't think of the name of the brand right now. But I'll put a picture of it on the screen so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But I like, I can just see the dress with like a pair of boots. So cute. But anyway, so I got the bodysuit in olive and I love the seams. It's turtleneck. I also love the fact that it's a thong. So, you know, no panty lines. But I'm actually going to wear this on Friday because I'm doing something super cute. I'm doing like a solo date on Friday. And I'm either going to wear it with, um, I have a leather mini skirt in black or I'm going to wear these leather leggings. It just depends on the weather and then I'm gonna wear some brown boots and my little brown tail far I think this is gonna be such a look it's so cute really really like this getting into fall y'all I was saying that I need to go shopping shopping because I have a lot of like lounge wear and like comfortable wear because I really don't be leaving the house a lot but I want some clothes so in the next couple weeks I'm gonna go on like a little shopping spree. I need to I need to redo my wardrobe. And the last thing I picked up from Urban Outfitters that I'm actually really excited about is this perfume. It's called Hazelnut El Hun, I think. Um, I really wanted like a fall fragrance, and they have another fragrance called Pistachio Brulee that I used to wear back in like maybe 2017, and I really really like it. Urban Outfitters has really really good fragrances, by the way. So this one, let me see if the notes are on here. But it basically just smells like a hazelnut croissant. It, it smells so warm. Like I think it's like the perfect fall fragrance, especially because I'm not one to wear like fall fragrances often. This was only twelve dollars, and it is the font. The text on here is so tiny. I can't even read like how much is in here. It smells really, really good. If you get a chance to go by Urban Outfitters, smell this. It's hazelnut El Hun. I think, and then pistachio brulee. Those are my favorites. I almost picked up pistachio brulee as well, but I was just like, no, let me try something new. And I love the bottle. The actual perfume is like this like really pretty chocolate brown color. I think this is like perfect for fall. Did that focus enough so you can see? No. I don't understand what's up, but this is what it looks like. This chipped polish, y'all, please. I cannot wait for my nail appointment tomorrow because, ew. <laughs> so that's all I picked up from Urban Outfitters today. I also went by the hair store. I wasn't able to find the Design Essentials um, wet stick that I was telling y'all about, but I did get this one by Care Care. So it just looks like this. This was surprisingly expensive, like, sis was $19.99. I don't know how I feel about that. I was expecting it to be a little less expensive than that. There was one by um, Style Factor who makes the edge gel that I use, which is this. But, um, oh my goodness. You guys know this particular brand has like the fragrances in them. Like this one is Lemonberry. But they only had peach in the stick and I did not like the way it smelled. It smelled like, like a cocktail or something. I just, I don't want my hair to smell like that. So... This one has more of a neutral fragrance, so it just looks like this. You just push it up. So I just want to use this for like um, my flyaways, like at the top of my hair. I tried it earlier, so you can't see as many as you could earlier. But there are just like so many little flyaways and stuff at the top. And I just want to um, 
get control of them because no, like no. And then I also picked up this tiny little comb because I'm carrying a very small clutch soon and I just wanna make sure I can take the comb with me. Like, let me see if this will fit in here. This is one of the clutches I'm wearing this weekend. See, it fit. I needed something tiny and nothing like wide too because I have this comb that I do use a lot when my hair is straight, but I don't want it. I wanted a more fine tooth comb. Oh my goodness, my nose looked terrible. I wanted a more fine tooth comb. That's why I picked this one up. And then I also picked up some hair rollers, the self gripping ones. I got two different sizes, so some clips to go with it. So recently I saw Mo Beauty try this with her hair because she also um, has natural hair. She wears it straight and she has layers. And so we're kind of in the same boat when it comes to like our hairstyle. So I wanted to try this to see if it will work. I'm not sure if these larger ones right here will fit on my hair now that now that it's shorter but the pink ones will for sure but i wanted to try these in the front i also saw this girl on tiktok use these for her hair i love her hair we don't have the same hair texture at all but as far as the results that she's getting from when her hair is straight and she wants it to be like big and voluminous voluminous whatever um she uses those rollers so i wanted to try those and that is all i picked up today from the hair store i also managed to pick up my clothes from the seamstress so I know I told you guys I asked her not to do this outfit, but for some reason I didn't bring it with me. I left it there, so she did it anyway. Um, so I got my birthday dress back. It is significantly shorter. There's no more adjustable straps on it. I got her to take that off so that I could just, I, if for this dress to fit me properly, I would have needed to pull the adjustable strap thingy all the way to the front. And I don't like that sitting right here on my shoulder. It just looks cheap to me. So I was like, take it off and make it adjustable. So now the dress looks itty bitty. I need to try it on to make sure it ain't nothing hanging out. But um, got that. And then also you guys know she did adjust the skirt to this for me. So I have all my looks now. Um, I'm about to try that stuff on to make sure it fits. And then I'll show you also this right here that I picked up from Pretty Little Thing. It came in the mail. So it's this two piece set. I actually saw this in, um, excuse me, Georgia. Kayla Kate's latest try on haul. So it's just like this really pretty teal color. It's so dark over here, y'all cannot see. And this turtleneck is so cute. Um, I'll pop a picture of it on the screen if I can, but I wanna wear it tomorrow because I'm not really doing anything tomorrow even though it's my birthday. I'm just gonna get, um, going to get my nails done, kinda relax. I might go to the mall, buy something. Look at this, yes, that's, that's not okay. Ugh. Um, I might go to the mall and buy something, may do like lunch, something really like chill. I don't want to do a whole, whole lot and I just want to make sure I'm like super comfortable. So I know I can wear that with like my Chanel sneakers, some super cute socks and throw on a jacket and keep it trucking. But yeah, I'm about to try this dress on <laughs> and see if it's like a decent length because we don't want, we don't want anything to be hanging out. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so I tried everything on. That's why my hair looking a little crazy, and I look a little flustered, but everything works. Everything looks good with the shoes, with the bag I bought. I'm not gonna show y'all. It's not even a bag, it's a clutch. I'm not gonna show y'all the clutch fully quite yet. Oh, there's a whole playlist playing back here. Um, But I'm gonna give you a sneak peek, and the only reason I'm not gonna show you yet is because I wanna do a whole unboxing and everything for it, but one of my birthday gifts to myself so what mama but yeah y'all I know at first I was saying I wasn't gonna go to the party tonight which is actually it's like afro beats afro house caribbean music um it's called global entry but I do want to go so I'm gonna go and the reason I want to go is because I went ahead and tried on this outfit after it's been tailored and you know it fits me now I'm like, okay, I do want to wear this out. So I feel like that's the perfect place to wear it. And then also there's a girl who I've been like talking to on Instagram for like maybe a year and a half now. And this is partially her event. And I would love to meet her in person. I feel like this is a great, um, you know, networking opportunity. So I'm going to go ahead and go. But yeah, y'all, I will go ahead and wrap up the vlog here tonight. I'll include some footage from whatever I end up getting into at the party. And then tomorrow it'll be my birthday. So... Oh my goodness. Thank you, Georgia. But yeah, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and start getting ready to go. 
it's like 7 30 and i need to be there doors open at like 9 so i want to get there like 10 ish maybe so yeah i'll see y'all later you guys it is 4 47 a.m i was just like knocked out sleep on my couch i don't know what made me like lay down um i didn't stay out too long and then i came home and i was saying i was gonna get something to eat i changed clothes well, i was literally out for maybe an hour like literally i did not stay out long at all an hour including me like including the commute to and from <laughs> i laid on the couch for some reason it was like i just fell asleep um i got a couple birthday happy birthdays at like midnight and then i went to sleep and i just woke up like girl you need to get up you take a shower you need to wash this makeup off take your jewelry off like what is this but y'all it is officially my birthday well it will be at 10 55 a.m according to my mama because that's the time i was born but the girl is 29 it's my last year in my 20s. 